today there's this new Top Gear update and we are going to be playing through it and doing it a little bit and showing you the stuff of it. Now let me quickly read the comfort. And let's start. Solo. Oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do this. Tonight, the Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here. I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Ah, yes, the stick. Oh, my God. Our very own UFO. Unidentified fast object. The world's least obedient racing driver. Right then, the Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving is all about. You got not to it. Talk, so the I trick think... with drifting is to not actually spin, but to almost spin for as long as possible. I try not to say anything, so I like Chris for his hair in the pocket. But this isn't just any Elise. It's a Sport 190, a tuned-up, stripped-out Elise for track days. Even the passenger seat is an optional extra. But who needs friends anyway? Friends are expensive and heavy. weighs well under 700 kilos and makes 190 horsepower from its 1.8 liter engine which lifts to 8,000 rpm just listen to that this is a speedy little quick lotus fun, very light. Oh, on the stick, oh. Of course, it sticks to the famous philosophy of the man who founded the company, Colin Chapman. Simplify, then add lightness, he said. The Sport 190 also adds a full roll cage, just in case. Yes, that's it. The honorable art of drifting. Come on, little lotus. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Made it. Yeah. Was there ever any doubt? The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one of the best handling cars ever made. The Sport 190 is its mm. hardcore cousin, a road going racer you can drive to work and across fields, it turns out. Aww. But if it's true agricultural transport you're after, we have just the thing. Let's go to the second the one. I think I'll play through this to the series, the off lady boy. And I'll let you play through it. And to your heart's content.
Oh, a BMW 1M. Great car. Hang on. That's my BMW 1M. This is a nice, I really like the BMW. Seriously, not funny. Who gave Stig the keys? He looks so small in there. Or is it a sheep? Who knows? I mean, I literally just cleaned it. Now it's gonna smell of onions. Oh, the stick. It's electronically restrained to 155 miles an hour. But it could definitely go quicker. Look at the smoke! Please leave me some tread for the drive home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on! The burnout is too low. That's the last time we leave Stig unattended. Am I the only one who remembers Budapest? Well, this isn't stressful to watch. Not at all. BMW is really fun. I say so myself. Does 0 to 60 in 4.8 seconds. My 1M. Stig's way beyond that now. 3 litre straight six, 335 horsepower, two turbos, as much sideways action as you like. Oh no! That was, that was nice. How do I have so much damage? It's a BMW, so of course oh it's rear wheel God. drive. 50 50 weight distribution, too. It's a natural born drifter. It's like untouched, the BMW is untouched. Sure, I have no damage on it. Mm -hmm. But it's like... Yes, yes, I know this is... Are you kidding fun, me? We really need to nail this bit. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Of course, BMW comes out of nowhere. I mean, Subaru comes out of nowhere. Yeet! I hit you now. I'll meet you guys when I get back. Hello, I'm back. After dreadful driving, I'm here. I got some air, as you clearly see. Let's hope another a Subaru doesn't randomly come out of nowhere and hit me again. One of the best BMWs ever made this, born to be driven by me. Got to admit though, Stig does kind of suit it. Oh god, take damage. Uh, this is going to be red for. Nope, I'm sticking to this side because if I go through the guardrail, I'm going to ruin this car and I don't want to do that. There now. Oh, what a shame. I was really getting into that. Just park it up now, Stig, and uh, mind the curbs. Now, anyone else want to go? No? Don't say I didn't ask. <laughs> okay. Um, so what's that gonna happen now? Right. Oh. Back to the actual script now, if you don't mind. This is Top Gear's track tour. It's a tractor, obviously, but with a 5.7-litre Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. And here comes the Stig again. Ooh. Farm Stig. Born in a barn, they say. Weaned by pigs. Can plough a field in under six seconds. Oh, wow. There's a speed Look at that meaty wane! Rumour has it, it the only meaty wane. above 87.2 miles an hour. That's a meaty Our one. tractor has been officially clocked at 87.2 miles an hour, making it the world's fastest tractor. But I reckon it'll go even faster. 
Oh, that V8 just sounds great. Oh, I didn't even know there's a... There's, that looks so odd if I look at it. There's no f three seats. What? Thick back tires. I know what people are gonna do with this. Wheelie build. Are you not gonna turn, you knob? Stick. Those are 54 inch mud tires, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. We could do 130, but I guess the truck doesn't want to do that. Right, here comes the Come camera. Hope they put some film in it. Wow! Have you ever seen anything like it? That's a new track to speed record and some impressively fast farming. If you want oh, to I did three. Hurry, you know what you need. Oh. Now, though, it's time to have Yay! Three stars. Let's go. Hello, next chapter. Let's go. What do we what do we drive in next? I oh a taxi. Earlier. Local company, Aisha's taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? I wonder <laughs> is it was it so I had a asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. That sounds like Found crap. Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it. The cabbie will always get you to your destination very early, but probably won't be anywhere near where you asked to go. The acceleration is brutal. Hope that meter charges by the minute. This could be a cheap ride. Oh, I hate the sound of the Just dogs. goes to show, you can slide almost anything if you know how. Even a taxi. Yeah, even a taxi. Now that's what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 750 horsepower. Plus bucket mm. seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. Didn't even know I had bucket seats. Who like me some good bucket seats? From now on, I say all cabs should have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about Agreed. it. More stability, more speed, more downforce, more room for your terrified passengers. And better looks. Except that little wheel bin. I don't like that one. No. A little spoiler. Oh, no. even has slick tires for maximum grip on a bone dry drag strip so they should be interesting when we hit the beach Come on. Yep, come on. You can get traction. Ooh.
We are almost the bear. This is there it is. We have made it. Good work from the stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed up for the next bit. So here we are then. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? Yep, sounds easy. Oh, look at that. Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the stick. Hmm. This is the final destination. Okay. Okay, so if it is. You have to be so slow. Are you what? Are you kidding me? No, that you cheeky little butt. You cheeky. Oh my god. Thank god we ones here. Before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which of course is when the handbrake comes in handy. You don't say. Come on! Go you stupid V12! Come on. Can I make it? Ooh, I'm gonna be cutting it close if I'm gonna make it. Very close in fact. A five star ride Ooh. from the stick there. Mini cab, maximum speed. Next time I need a ride to the airport, I know who I'm calling. And all of this off-road action has given me an idea. Sounds. Yay! I win. I'm good. Spoicy. Hmm. Oh, I even got the Mercedes. Okay. Okay, I guess this is where we're gonna end the episode. I just wanna quickly pull that out. They give me it. Is it just me or is that going insane? Oh, bad factors. Is it just me or is I can't see it? Mercedes Benz. I got it, you saw that. Did it give me it? What? You guys saw that, I got that. Oh my God. Oh uh, you no, know, life's not fair. Well, this is the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you will go and play this top gear because it's amazingly fun.
I'm gonna I'm gonna go play that off camera. And yeah. See you all in the next episode. Bye!